In Auto Wrench Madness Part 1, I showed how I removed the pin from this no-name 9-inch auto wrench. With the wrench fully disassembled, I was ready to address the patina. I used the wire wheel to remove the worst of it before soaking overnight in evaporust. Here's how the parts looked after soaking in evaporust, lightly brushed under running water, and dried. I find evaporust to be ideal for tools like this that have areas that can't be easily reached with wire brushes. I had a vision in my mind of what I wanted to do with this wrench. Okay, here's an outline of the wrench. My plan was to reprofile the jaws, add a scallop, shorten the handle, and add wood scales with brass pins. I began by shortening the handle. I also used the hacksaw to notch the forging where the wood scales would begin. I used my 1x30 belt sander to round the bottom and to flatten the handle. For removing a lot of material fast, I've had good luck with these blue 40 grit Harbor Freight belts. I use them for roughly shaping wood too. I use my angle grinder to rough out the scallop. Then I fine tune the shape with a sanding drum. I repeatedly reassembled the auto wrench to see how my alterations looked all together. I was very pleased with how the scalp turned out. I ended up shortening the handle even more. I liked how the reprofiled jaws came out too. So far, so good. I sanded the wrench down to 400 grit with the 1x30. Then I used the fiber wheel to polish out the sanding marks. The fiber wheel was especially effective on this spot under the jaw. Saved me having to hand sand. I went over the parts with super fine Scotch-Brite discs in my Dremel. This produces a nice matte finish on the metal. I was tempted to leave the matte finish, but Chuck insisted we flitz it. Hey Chuck, can you see yourself? Ah! I had to reassemble the wrench before adding the wood scales. I drilled two holes for 3 16 diameter pins, then epoxied one scale in place and drilled through the wood. Then I epoxied the other scale and drilled through again. I used my 1x30 belt sander with the same aggressive 40 grit Harbor Freight belt to rough out the shape of the scales. Before gluing in the pins, I also roughly sanded down the thickness of the scales. Here's the handle with the pins installed and roughly sanded to shape. I did the rest of the sanding by hand. This was some scrap cherry I've had for years. I started out with a no-name 9-inch auto wrench and transformed it into a one-of-a-kind design. I'm really happy with how my Rustamod turned out. It's got a really handy feel to it and I think it looks great. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. The paint is Rust-Oleum Sunrise Red with a couple drops of black added. I finished the cherry with Watco Danish Oil and Johnson's Paste Wax. I've got to admit, Chuck was right. The Flitz Polished Metal looks great. This was a fun project. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks for watching. Even though my Rustamod took away some of the wrench's capacity, it will still do the job on a 3 quarter inch hex nut that's 1 and 1 8 across the flats.